Well, in 75, um, I, uh, it was my first year of Pro Atlantic in the Labatt's series. It was then, I think it was Labatt's, yeah. And, uh, and I had a Lola 360, which somebody sent me a photo of these cars all running, and I think my Lola was in that picture. I found out yesterday it's just up the hill here. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that at the time. Yeah. Or I would have had it down here, but I only found out too late. So, um, and in 75, I'll never forget, I went to our first, the first race was at Edmonton, and I thought, gee, if I qualify like 10th, I'll be really happy, and I qualified second. And, uh, but then they, that piece of, you know what, uh, Lucas um, um, kill switch. The bottom dropped out on the pace lap, and the thing started misfiring. So because the metal wasn't touching them, so it, uh, I never even started the race. Couldn't figure out what the hell it was till later. So then we go to Westwood, British Columbia, and I qualified on pole. So the first two pro races, I'm on first, second on the grid. But in 75, um, uh, my best finish was second to Villeneuve at, uh, at uh, Gimli, Manitoba in the pouring rain. And that year we were pretty much quicker than Jill. So in 76, we're really now looking forward to it. And, uh, and uh, Doug Shearson was the importer for March racing cars at the time. So I went to drive for Doug and Jill went to drive for Ecury Canada and a guy named Ray Wardell was the team manager. And Ray Wardell had been a, a team manager for March Engineering in Europe in their Formula 2 program. Yeah. And he, he, was, he was way ahead of all of us here. And in the end, Jill, um, I mean, dominated the year. I had horrible luck in this car. I mean, it, stupid things like the, the bracket that holds the, the nose on one of the welds breaking and the thing coming off in the race and just throttle cables breaking and, you know, just crazy stuff. Um, so at the end of 76, I said, the hell with it. I'm, I'm going to quit. I'm, the hell, I'm not going to, you know, mess, waste my life. And so I, I did. I stopped and uh, went to work for an ad agency in Chicago. And uh, then about four months later, my wife, my girlfriend at the time said, you know, you're going to regret it if you don't go give it a real shot. And the guy, my mechanic was a guy named Wiley McCoy, who then went on to run McLaren engines in Detroit. Uh, but anyway, Wiley said, you're crazy. Well, this guy Morgan said, why don't you come see me? And so I went to see him in New York and he agreed. Uh, he, and he paid me. I was going to make $18,000 a year. That was my salary. <laughs> So we drove the 77 marches and I finished second in the championship that year. But at the end of 77, they had a race in Quebec City, which was the first time they raced there. And so, and I'm not sure why we didn't run the marches, but anyway, that's when I drove that car. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I love, in, in the race, we were leading. We were, we were beating Villeneuve handily and um, a spark plug lead came off about 10 laps to go. So they came in, took the, put the thing back on. I ended up second, but it was really disappointing because I was had it. kicking Jill's ass, yeah. you know. And of course, he was on his way to Formula One then too, right. so. Um, but then we stayed with Pierre. Pierre Phillips ran the team. And so he stayed with Pierre and went, drove this car, and, or one just like this. And um, yeah, the, the Rault was a great car. Yeah. You know, typical run, Tarnak, very, commonsensical and strong, you know, very high quality. And, and these were fun cars, you know, I mean, I won Lime Rock uh, in, in the car and uh, had a lot, led a lot of the races, again, had led Westwood and we had some kind of an issue. Elkhart, I won the Saturday race and then Sunday I was third. Um, was on pole, or no, pole or second at Montreal. They ran the first Montreal race for the Grand Prix circuit. They had to run something else before the Grand Prix. So they had an Atlantic race and it was, it was cold and um, leaves all over the track. And I said, you know, we ought to put something over the radiator inlet, you know, keep the leaves. Oh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. So sure enough, 10 laps into the race, I'm leading and the thing's overheating because it sucked up all the leaves. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's fun to, fun to see these cars. These were great cars. The Ralts especially. Marches were great cars as well, but Ralt really, you know, I think was the car to have by the late 70s, for sure. Yeah. A friend of his in Canada owned this company, and he said, sure, so they gave us, I think, five grand to, you know, 
to run the series. But although I was number nine in those days in right. that car. Yeah. yeah. But number one in our hearts. <laughs> yeah. but it's a, oh, the funny story about this. So Chip Mead, I don't know if you ever remember that name. Remember Chip that was name. my teammate and uh, from Dayton, Ohio. And uh, we, uh, the cars were paddocked in these horse stables at, uh, in Quebec City. Oh. So just like Trois Rivieres was the same thing. Greeks, yeah. yeah. And uh, so Chip and I are walking in and uh, I think the first day, like maybe on the Thursday, and one of the guys says, oh, the uh, Quebec Provincial Police want to see you. And I said, see me? See me for what? So they come and they, they say, you're under arrest, the two of us. And it's because we had, they'd had a race at a track called Saint Felicien, which was up in the middle of nowhere in Quebec, little tiny track. And uh, the hotel, we, we'd paid the thing. I said, just send us the bill, because we, we had an early flight. So we left, and the guy wasn't awake who owned the hotel. But he thought we stiffed him. So he f filed a complaint. And uh, so here we are like two months later and there's the police waiting for us. <laughs> so the only way we got on that weekend was to race was we promised to go to the court to go up there on Monday after the race and, uh, and um, uh, you know, pay restitution or whatever. So there we were going on Monday going up to San Felicia. <laughs> True story though. Yeah, these are good days.